ash trees are under attack in Brookings and will eventually die. As we told you earlier this week, the emerald ash borer has been discovered in a Brookings neighborhood. So far, the insect has also been found in Minnehaha, Lincoln, Turner, and Union counties. As Couple Lands Tom Hansen shows you tonight, the South Dakota Department of Agriculture and Natural Resources has come up with a more efficient way of finding infestations. The emerald ash borer came to Michigan from Asia in 2002 and has been slowly spreading ever since. They bore holes into ash trees and eventually kill them. Spotting the infestation early can give homeowners a better chance at saving their ash trees if they choose to treat them. SDSU professor and Department of Ag Forest Health Specialist John Ball and master's student and horticulturist Tanner Aiken are using a drone to spot infestations in Brookings. But I see a tree over here that looks a little suspect and I'll still be able to see my drone. And so now I'm just kind of zeroing in on this. So this is a good example because this is a tree you might not be able to see from the street. Okay, so if you're a city forester or, or a curious arborist and you're looking to see where is EAB in this area, uh, this tree wouldn't be one you could readily see uh, driving around. But we can see it, you know, plain as day, really, with, uh, with the drone. Aiken says the view from above makes it so much easier to spot the damage. After a lot of work, a couple of field seasons in the city of Sioux Falls, we noticed that you can see discoloration and thinning in the canopy of ash trees, uh, generally before you can see it from the ground. Using a drone turned out to be a very effective way for them to see how far the infestation is spread. They can cover a lot of ground quickly. The emerald ash borer, or EAB, can spread about a half mile to a mile every year by itself. But the long range spread of the pest comes from people. The way it's going to move from town to town is basically on firewood. In fact, a piece of wood cut at this time of year from an infested tree, let's say something about length of my arm, almost the diameter, can have 12 adults come out of it. Well, with 12 adults, you're going to have some males and some females, so you're going to start a new population. So it doesn't take much wood being moved. Ball says if people continue to follow the quarantines, which means no transporting of firewood out of the infected counties, we can slow the spread of the emerald ash borer. Please, please follow those quarantines. It's buying time for all those other communities. It's inevitable. But if we can put it off 20 years rather than five years, let's do it. Saves us a lot of money. In Brookings, Tom Hansen, Kelloland News. Treating your ash tree will run about $150 to $350 every two to three years. Now, if you don't treat your ash tree, Professor Ball says it will die within 10 years.